Okay. <laughs> and welcome you. We are so excited to have you on tonight. Thank you so much. Um, let's, uh, Andrea, I'm going to have you hop on really quickly and um, introduce Colette and I'm trying to find, gosh, we have so many screens, which is an amazing thing. We have so many screens of people, but I have to find now, where did Andrea go? Okay, there you are. There you are. It's like Hollywood Squares. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, no, Andrea. I, yeah, I, I am so, I'm so excited and I just feel so privileged to be able to just welcome. I'm seriously, Colette, you are the most kindest, genuine, and generous person I know. Um, I have been so lucky to know you and know her and her family for all my life. And <laughs> I owe this woman so much. Um, sorry, I get really emotional because, because of her, she has changed her and Kara. You've changed my life and you have changed the lives of so many people. And I just feel so fortunate to have you here on here tonight. Um, and I'm just excited for you to be able to share your story with everyone because not everyone knows this story. So I, yeah, Colette, we're turning it over to you. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Just love you to death. <laughs> oh, I love you too. And you already got me crying. That's not good. <laughs> uh, I have to just say, I grew up like, five houses away from Andrea and our families spent lots of time together up in Lake Powell and boating and seriously she has always been one of my greatest heroes and I adore her and her entire family. Her brother was probably 15 years older than me and I used to have the biggest crush on him. <laughs> I would like ride my skateboard or bike up past their house and yeah I just adore her and literally she you it, you're in my downline but I have learned more than you've I've learned more from you than you've ever learned from me so thank you and it's seriously such an honor I feel so humbled to even be invited to um, come and tell about the Sensi story um, I was thinking about it for, for me, it's been over 17 years and um, with, with Orville and Heidi, how they, when they started it, it's been 16 years and that time has just literally flown by, like it, it's gone so fast and I, especially with Thanksgiving coming up uh, next week, I feel so humbled and so grateful and so thankful for every single one of you because Sensi really is what it is today because of every single one of us working together. So I owe all of you um, my whole heart and thank you for believing in our, our same little dream. So, <laughs> um, well, when they asked me if I would would um, do the call, they wanted me to tell the Sensi story, and I I'm so sorry for all of you that have heard it a million trillion times. <laughs> um, but if there's anyone out there that hasn't heard the Sensi story, then I would love to share. So um, before I start, I just really want to um, tell you that the whole idea of Sensi was definitely inspired. And I feel so grateful that um, Kara and I were just the vessel, the part that, um, that it was able to come through. And really, like I said, it's all of us working together that really made it what it is. So I'm so proud of each of you. But um, how it all started was I um, just, always had a love of candles. I had candles burning um, in my home all the time. I loved things to smell good. And I have five daughters and I started worrying um, when they were really little about having a um, burning flame in the, in the house. And um, I actually had one time where I left a candle going in the kitchen and it, I forgot about it and it burned the wax all the way down and it broke the glass. And luckily it didn't 
catch anything on fire. But when that happened, it really scared me. And so I, um, after that, had started kind of experimenting with different um, ways to, to try to scent the house. And I had bought one of those um, little coffee mug warmers and a jarred candle and uh, had been experimenting with that and just melting like tarts and votives and different you know ways to um, to do it without having flame. Um, I one day had gone to my neighbor's house and she her house smelled really good and I said oh my goodness your house smells amazing what are you burning and she said well I'm actually not burning anything she said I go and I get the jarred candle and I put it in a bag and then I break the glass of the, the candle and I pull out the wax and I cut up the wax in chunks and then she um, would melt it in her old little potpourri crock pot little warmer. And I honestly didn't think hardly anything of that, but um, we, a couple weeks later on July 25th of 2003, um, we went to lunch for my mom's birthday and uh, we were, I gave my mom one of the little jarred candles with the coffee mug warmer as a gift and it was all my sister-in-laws and my sisters. I come from a family of eight kids and so there was a big group of us and we were just eating lunch and uh, my mom opened up her gift and we got talking about candles and um, how you, you know, this new thing where you could put the candle on the warmer. And then I happened to mention about, yeah, my neighbor, she does the craziest thing. And I told what my neighbor did. Well, my sister-in-law, Kara, was there. And Kara is my little brother, Troy's wife. And um, she heard what I was saying. And a backstory on Kara was, and I had no idea of any of this, but a year before we had gone to this lunch, um, Kara had seen the Millionaire Moms uh, episode of Oprah, and it was the Baby Einstein video one, and she was looking at these women that were on the Oprah show, and she was like, these are just ordinary women that came up with the awesome idea, and so she was thinking, you know, I could come up with, you know, maybe I could come up with an idea where I could improve our family's finances and you know be able to work at home and so she had been praying for a whole year for an idea. I didn't know any of this but at the luncheon where we were with my mom um, when Kara heard me talking about my neighbor that would break the glass and cut up the wax um, she said that the words literally came into her mind Kara this is your business. So she called me that night about 10 o'clock at night and said, you know, when you were talking about your neighbor and, you know, she said, if people will go to all of that trouble, let's make it easy for them. And she said, do you want to start a company selling wax chunks in warmers? And of course I said, yes. <laughs> so that's kind of how the idea came about. And so then we decided, all right, we need to get to work. We need to name the company. We need to get a business license. Um, we realized how actually clueless we were because neither of us had money. Um, neither of us, you know, really had a, a really good, you know, business, starting a business background or anything like that. But we were really determined. And I think the biggest thing going for us is we really, believed in it. We had a huge dream. We, um, even in the very beginning, our, our logo was Sensi, the hottest new thing in candles. Like we truly believed that this was going to be the hottest new thing ever. <laughs> and so um, we, we actually uh, turned in the little credit card slips that come in the mail. That's how we uh, first funded Sensi because neither of us had any money. <laughs> And um, we, uh, the, na the way we named Scentsy, we were throwing around several different ideas for names, um, like perfect sense and a bit of sense. And oh, I had a whole list of, of names that we were tossing around. And we were um, at mom's one day and my mom was like typing in 
uh, or no, I was doing my mom's nails. Kara was typing in um, on the computer all of the different forms of the word sent, you know, and we were throwing out names. And anyway, she yelled from the other room, what about Sensi? And immediately I was like, oh my gosh, that's it. I love it. And so that was how we named it. And um, the original boxes that we got were um, actually inspired by Kara's makeup bag. She had this cute straight, I think I have a little picture I can show here if it will work on my phone. I don't know if you'll be able to see. <laughs> but uh, anyway, she had this little purple and green striped um, makeup bag. And uh, that was how we, uh, the colors that we decided for Scentsy and how we designed our, our boxes. Um, once we had come up with the idea of, you know, making it easy and a warmer, we had to go to work and find what kind of warmers would work. And um, the coffee mug kind, they got really hot. The little potpourri ones, they got really hot too. And we started investigating different waxes and why tarts and votives you know, didn't last, the scent didn't last as long as like the jarred candle wax. And anyway, we came across um, a warmer that was heated with a light bulb. And we called the company and said, hey, we um, found these warmers and we, we want to order some from you. You know, we, we love this idea. And the guy that we talked to, he said, you know what? These used to be used for potpourri and water. People would put potpourri and water and simmer pot kind of thing. And he said, nobody does that anymore. So you can get all the warmers that you want. And we were so excited because we're like, this is perfect for what, what we want. And then on the wax, we um, realized that the jarred candle wax is a much softer wax. It holds a lot more scent. So we were um, able to, first of all, we poured them in an ice cube tray and because all we really knew, we knew we just needed little chunks of the wax. Well, the ice cube tray looked pretty silly <laughs> and um, very unprofessional. And so I hit the um, craft store and we found these little plastic bead organizers. So I'll show you again my goofy picture. This is um, what the original warmers looked like. And this is the little bead organizer. Um, and so literally it was like in the craft section at the store. And we um, had a company who they did like jar, they had some jar candles, but like taper and, um, and like the, why can't I think of the name? The like just um, tall candles, my heck, my brain. Anyway, um, so we went into them and we asked, you know, can we have you pour, we want to like make our own scents and pick our own oils and name our own scents, but will you help us to mix and pour them and, and will you pour them into these trays? And they really looked at us like we were crazy, but they said, sure, we would be happy to do that. So um, we poured our first set in the bead organizers and um, we set up shop in the unfinished part of my basement. And um, I have another little picture you can see. <laughs> Sorry for my professional <laughs> pictures, but this is um, kind of what it looked like in the basement. And um, we had the, we would bang out the wax and shrink wrap and label each of the little bars. And those were our original Scentsy bars. And um, then this was our really high tech labeling system for um, how we would store the bars and all of the, the little labels for each of the scents. Um, anyway, pretty crazy that it's gone from that to what it is today. I literally pinch myself every day and um, like, is this really real? Is this really my life? I feel so blessed. Um, I just have to show you for fun. This was our original um, catalog that we had. Um, it was held together with a little, a little brad there. And um, this is the back, this is the front. This is uh, what the original boxes looked like. Um, that was, you know, inspired by her cute little makeup bag. This was the list of scents that we had. 
And it's kind of fun because there are several on here that are um, that have stuck around the whole entire time. So Autumn Sunset was one of our original ones, and Sunkiss Citrus was an original one. Welcome Home. Um, then there's just some other fun ones on that have come back between the years, um, and then. This is so professional, you're gonna laugh, but this was how we showed each of the colors of warmers. It literally had the warmer name and a little tiny square that um, told what color the warmer was. So um, anyway, it's just pretty crazy what, what, it's, um, what it is today compared to what it used to be. But anyway, so we got our boxes we got how we would make our bars, had everything ready to go, and then we had to figure out how to market this because nobody really knew what a wickless candle was. So um, we had put some in the little boutique and tried to sell it on a shelf in a retail store, but none of it really sold because no, nobody knew what wickless was. They didn't understand the concept of it. So we knew that it needed a person-to-person um, way to explain it. So um, we, I had done a couple other different party plan companies, mostly just for fun and to get the things that I wanted, but I kind of understood party plan a little bit. And so we actually had eight um, original consultants that were helping us do parties and selling at the time. And then we um, started getting into doing fairs and shows and um, letting people see it firsthand. So um, of those eight consultants, people always ask me, there's only one consultant that is still a consultant. Her name's Anna Smith and she's amazing. Um, and anyway, so back to, <laughs> to marketing it. So we um, did a, a show in March of 2004 and um, it was the Spring Home and Garden Show in Salt Lake City at the Southtown Expo Center. And we um, set up our booth. We were like so excited. And Kara and I, we like dressed up, had like little business suits on and we had our whole little, um, you know, table set up. We were all ready. And um, across from us was this cute teenage girl who had a table with a TV on it. And she was standing there and was demoing these fun little handheld video games that would just plug right into your TV. So any of you that have done fairs and shows know that you get to be, to know your neighbors around you. And with that booth being directly across from us, um, I was really intrigued with these fun video games. And I thought, you know what, that'd be really fun to have one for my, my girls. Um, but at that time, we had about close to $30,000 on our little credit card <laughs> from starting Sensi. Um, the logo that we thought was going to cost us around $2,000, we got a bill for about $20,000. And we literally, my husband was like, oh my heck, do I sell a truck, you know, my truck? Like, which kid can we sell, you know? <laughs> what do we do? Like, we were kind of in panic mode. So I really wanted one of these video games, but I was hoping to make a trade, you know, that maybe I could trade a warmer and, and the video game. Well, um, one of the afternoons, I think it was the Saturday of that show, um, I took a little break real quick to um, eat a, a little bit of lunch. And we were on the end of the rows of, of booths and at the very end against the wall was a little bench. And I sat down on the bench, was eating lunch, and Orville at that time happened to come by and stop and talk to his niece. It was his 14 year old niece who was um, working the booth. And I saw them talking. And then a few minutes later, he came and sat on the other end of the bench where I was eating lunch. And we struck up a conversation and I just said, hey, is this your booth? Like, can you tell me about these um, video games? And we started talking. And anyway, I asked, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, it's a guy, is he gonna want a warmer? You know, so I said, are you married? And he said, yes. And I said, oh my heck, you need to take one of these warmers home to your wife. And he's like, 
well, well, tell me about it. What do you mean? And I'm like, oh, it's the hottest new thing in candles. And I start getting him excited about it because I really wanted one of the video games. Well, little did I know that that conversation would um, change my whole life <laughs> forever. And I um, literally couldn't be more grateful for Orville and Heidi and for what they have literally done for every single one of us. They have the biggest hearts of anybody that I know and their story is simply incredible and amazing and I literally thank them. I thank God that our paths were able to cross that day. That was such a, a miracle really and such a blessing to so many people. <laughs> um, in Orville's story of, of that day, he was about 700,000 in debt when we met and I didn't know, but he had given the, the promoter of that show a, a check that wasn't good and said, hey, at the end of the show, I'll come back and buy the check with cash if you let me be in the show. And she let him in and she actually said, I have a booth that the people didn't show up. And if you have any extra product, you can throw, throw it in this booth. And that's where the video games came from. That's how he got that booth. And I know that that wasn't just a coincidence. That was definitely meant to be. So um, anyway, that is pretty much how, <laughs> how it all got started on um, after that show, he took home the testers to Heidi and uh, he called Kara and I and said, hey, would you like to partner on a show up in Seattle? And um, he was really interested. He asked, you know, are you, are you considering selling Scentsy? Like, I, I would love to buy Scentsy. And we, we were kind of like, well, we know it's a good idea. We, we want to be moms, you know, we're, we're stay at home moms and, you know, we don't really have a ton of business experience, but anyway, we kind of struck up this conversation, but we partnered on a show up in Seattle and it was the Seattle women's show. And that was the first time that I met Dini and she is incredible and so instrumental in helping get Sensi started as well. Um, but after that show, we killed it at that show. We, we sold a ton. The women there loved it. Everybody loved it. And um, on May 1st of 2004, um, Orville and Heidi came to my house and they brought a trailer and they picked up all the inventory that we had and all of the supplies that we had. And this was when uh, we did the three-way handshake. You've probably, a lot of you seen this picture of, um, where we wrote up our little contract of what, how it was all gonna work and everything. And um, I still remember, sorry, I remember the day that they drove down the street with all of the stuff in their, in their trailer. Um, I tell people, it, to me, it was kind of like, um, like we had had Sensi, but we knew that if we gave it to Orville and Heidi, like, like maybe like an adoption or something, you know, that it would have a much better life than what we could give it. And I remember just feeling joy. And I knew when I met Orville, I knew that he really was meant to be the one that would take it to where it needed to go. And I never once have regretted that decision. I'm so proud of them. They, in their mission statement and talk about, you know, it being a, a industry leading family friendly, um, literally it's a world class, amazing company and I couldn't be more proud. Um, but I do have to say that I really couldn't be more proud of every single one of you. Um, I have known from the very beginning that Sensi is so much more than just wax and warmers and making people's houses feel, smell good and putting smiles on people's faces. Um, I truly believe that Sensi is here to help every single one of us become who we were really meant to be. 
And a perfect example of that was this year when um, COVID hit. And this has been the craziest year that I can ever remember of my life. <laughs> um, I uh, remember being so worried about what's going to happen with Sensi, and you know, will we still be able to do what what we're doing? And I was so excited when I heard that Idaho had um, kept Sensi open as an essential business. And um, I remember the day that I tuned into this video that Melissa Gratz um, was was teaching. <laughs> And it was the active in April movement. And I was watching her and her passion and her enthusiasm and her rallying all of us together. Like she got my heart going, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, we can do this. And when she was telling the numbers and, and if each of us could do $200 in the month or 200 more than what we had done before, like, what difference we could make. And she was doing this to help give back to Orville and Heidi. And then I, I know, I don't know, Melissa, you can probably tell us who, who all was behind that, but literally that was so incredible. And I just could sit there watching her and I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is literally one of the reasons why Sensi is meant to be like, we're, we're changing so many lives and we're blessing so many people and that active in April, I really think is what has spurred on this huge snowball of, of Sensi. Like we are breaking records. We are setting records. We are <laughs> like, this has been absolutely incredible. And in the middle of a pandemic, I know it's also at the same time, probably been really hard. I still do lots of fairs and shows um, ever since, you know, before I had met Orville. And this year, all of our fairs and shows have been canceled. Um, some of them are like my biggest, you know, the biggest way that I was able to sell. And so I know we've all had to be, get, be getting creative and thinking of, you know, outside the box and how can we you know, um, find different ways to meet people and, and share this awesome um, company with them. And so anyway, I just want to thank Melissa and all the leaders that were behind that because it truly inspired me. And I know that inspired so many people in Sensi to just do their 200 that month and, or do a little bit better than what they had done. And what a huge difference that that has made. Um, I, I listen on all the different calls. I literally love that I, so kind of my background, um, once we sold Sensi, I still loved it and, and wanted to be part of it. I was still selling, you know, but I wasn't officially a consultant until um, that October. And then I joined as a consultant and I um, literally have worked from essential consultant to superstar director, the same as everybody else. And um, so I totally understand the ups and downs, the, the hard times, the good times, the um, getting your kit and being so excited and you know every new product that comes out and getting on the computer like, oh my heck, am I gonna get it? Or it's gonna time out on me? Or am I gonna get in the queue? You know, like I, I feel all the same emotions as each of you. And I tell you, I still love Sensi every single minute. I Every product that comes out, I'm so excited about. And I just feel so blessed to be part of it. I'm, I'm sorry, my brain is like going a million miles an hour, but I just want to thank everybody because like I said, it took every single one of us working it as hard as we do to get it where it is today. And I love that we have this opportunity. Um, I look at back at our, you know, silly little first catalog and compare that to all of the incredible business tools that we have today and the incredible training that we have today. And I actually have business cards and party invites and <laughs> all of these fun different things that um, we never had in the beginning. And 
So anyway, I, I just love each of you. I feel so blessed to be on this journey with you. And thank you so much for letting me share the Sensi story. <laughs> you are <don't> amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. And we are so, we are so blessed. And this is such a testament to, um, Sensi and the foundation that you built it on is that here you are with us. <laughs> like, and here you, you are, which I don't know that, I mean, I know you just told everybody, but she's a superstar director. So Colette is a consultant. Colette is like, she said, she's in the queue and doesn't have fast pass. <laughs> like she is, <laughs> you know, like, but that's what's really cool is that we are, and, and to give you guys kind of a family tree, um, we are under Colette, all of us are under Colette. So uh, Colette, and then there goes Jana Bennett, and then Andrea Hatch. So Andrea, who's on here? So Andrea's sponsor is directly under Colette. And then Jennifer Faison, who's my sponsor, and then me, and then Shelly Sharp, Lisa Martin, um, so we are, but I mean, we can reach out and touch Colette. Like we are, we are part of her, her Sensi family tree and Colette, thank you because it is so important that this story live on because the exact way that you and Kara meant for Sensi to impact people, it has in such an enormous scale, the ripple effect is unending. We are truly the most authentic, simplistic, genuine, generous group of people. And we've all been brought together because we like our houses and our spaces to smell amazing. But it's important as, as ever to not have that story die. We, we are so deeply rooted in that 17 years ago. Um, I can't imagine I mean, I can feel a little bit for you, but I can't imagine what it feels like for you every single time you see the word Sensi, every time you see a, a warmer, every time you walk into a convention arena and see people gathered and the, 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 the stage lit up with the word Sensi. And I mean, the fact that Autumn Sunset is still in the catalog and, you know, there are so many things that I can't imagine how you feel because I know I feel it and I'm not you, but I feel how <laughs> my sense of pride when I see what Sensi means to me and how it's impacted people's lives and the empowerment it has given people. And so not, you didn't just bring an easy way to melt wax in a, in a wonderful way and safe way to scent spaces, you brought on an opportunity to change lives. And it started with you. And all of us are here because of you. And it's so important everybody knows who she is, that everybody knows the story. And it doesn't matter how many times we hear it. Shelly will tell you, I will tell you, Andrea will tell you, so many of my girls that are on here will tell you that have heard it many times. It never gets old. We always know. I didn't know Autumn Sunset and Sunkissed Citrus were original scents. So it doesn't matter how many times I hear it. I love hearing it. It reminds me why I love this as much as I do. And I wanna tell you one other thing. Um, I had to call consultant support today and um, I hope that this is okay to say. You guys, don't tell on me. I hope it's okay to say, but I think it's been public knowledge. I think that for as well as we all have done in the consultant field, home office has gotten bonuses along the way. Um, basic, Jackie Hall is nodding. So like maybe this means, <laughs> maybe this means that this is common information. If it's not, well, you heard it here. Um, for for all of these different benchmarks that through this pandemic and in 2020 that we in the consultant field have hit, Orville and Heidi have bonused the home office. So today I had to call consultant support and I was helping, or I was talking to a uh, gentleman in director support, whose name was John, and we got to talking, he helped me with my thing. And I said, you know, we appreciate you so much because as much as you guys appreciate us out in the field, 
we couldn't do what we do if we didn't have you. And he almost teared up and said, but no, we have to thank you because of what you guys have done. You have changed our lives this year. <laughs> he said, we are in the midst of a pandemic where so much uncertainty was facing us at the beginning of this year. And to say that during this pandemic, I have received a bonus five times because of the work you guys have done, we will never be able to repay you. And I said, but without you, we couldn't do what we do. And that's why this little engine that could can is because it takes every person in manufacturing, every person in shipping, every consultant support rep, every co-founder that both you and Kara are superstar directors and both involved in Sensi. I think that's important to, to make note of is that our co-founders are still here. And they, the business was given up for adoption to Heidi and Orville and they're still here. And I think that this is so powerful that we are touching the start. We're talking to Colette, this is the start. We have Heidi and Orville who are passionate about this business and, and the story, um, which is why I say it's so important we don't forget it um, because we are all just a touch away from 17 years ago. And it is one of the most beautiful things. Colette, your passion and your aura is everywhere in Sensi. And so thank you for that. Oh, you yeah. are so... <laughs> I just am so proud of every single one of you. So proud of Orville and Heidi. I literally, my heart is, I, there's no way to explain it. I just so proud of everyone. I love you all so much. And I want nothing more for everybody than to have your biggest, wildest, most huge dream fulfilled because of Sensi. And I know that it can be because I've seen so many people have their dreams come true because of Sensi. So set your goal, set it high and literally go for it because you can do it. I know you can and you have so many people that will help you. That's another thing different about Sensi is we do love each other. We do care. We want everybody to succeed. And so reach out and go for it. I just thank you. Thanks for letting me be part of this. I love you all. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you just a couple other easy questions. And okay. let me give, I have to give credit where credit is due. Active in April was completely Heather Gorsuch's brainchild. That was her, um, she came up with it. And as we know in everything um, in life, it takes a village to, to you know, you, you get people to rally around you and you can move mountains. And so, but but that was her brainchild and, and we we ran with it. Um, Colette, what's your favorite, what's your favorite fragrance? What's your favorite Scentsy scent? Oh, that is so hard. Um, okay, give us your top three. Okay, I still love sugar cookie and sunkissed citrus, um, cinnamon bear. I need to look because I think that was an original one too. Um, but I love citrus and cinnamon, but then they come out with all these new ones. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is amazing. So, I, but yeah, I, I still love the citrus and the sugar cookie, probably my favorites. <laughs> and what, do you have a favorite warmer? Oh, that is really hard too. Um, the, the little original ones really still have a really special place in my heart. They, the light bulb like snap, you had to pinch it and, you know, squish it in underneath yeah. the little hole in the bottom. And, um, but when I see those, my heart like goes, goes crazy. I just can't believe, I mean, the Disney warmers, we have freaking Disney, you guys. Like I see those the first time I saw Minnie and Mickey, it was at the superstar summit. I came around the corner. I literally cried like a baby. I, I I'm blown away. So, I mean, all these new warmers, I just get so excited about, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, every, I just love them all. <laughs> My house is I, full. Of <laughs> I think it's, re it's really cool because, um, I have a picture, Shelly, Andrea, me, Jana, were with you when you came around the corner and saw the word Sensi on Mickey's foot. 
<laughs> and that was a moment. And actually, what's funny is the picture that I shared with everybody for promoting tonight's call was the picture of you and Mickey or Minnie, um, <laughs> because that really was a moment. Seeing the name Sensi on a Disney product was, it was really, really cool to witness. Um, what would you say was the, the first dream that you had that Sensi helped you realize? Aside from starting the business, but once you started, since you gained momentum, what's the first dream that you realized? So there were a lot of people who were kind of naysayers and, you know, kind of, oh, a candle company, like candles are a dime a dozen. Why would you do that? You know, and my own father-in-law took me aside and was like, you know, Colette, like, 99% of all new businesses fail, you know, and, and I just like, I wanted to prove so bad, you know, so my husband, he had worked for an insurance company for over 20 years. And um, the ladies that worked in his office were always, you know, I'd be like, hey, take this to work, you know, and show them these new things. And maybe one would buy like one bar, or, you know, like they, they just weren't like super supportive of it, you know. And it was after the Shine 09 convention in Salt Lake City, um, which was awesome because that's my home and the downtown like decked out in Scentsy, the Salt Palace with a big Scentsy logo, like I can't even tell you how that made me feel. Um, but my husband came to that convention and after, so 2009, so th that would have been five years after Scentsy um, started with Orville and Heidi, six years for us. But um, he like came home and was like, oh my gosh, like, this is the real deal, Colette. I'm like, I've been trying to tell you, you know, like, this is so awesome. So probably one of my most, um, sorry, <laughs> one of my most favorite I'm things sorry. was uh, when he got to go into his boss and say, uh, I want to retire in 2009. And she looked at him and said, well, you're too young to retire. And he said, well, then I want to resign. And, he, and she said to him, what, your wife's little candle business? And he's like, yep. So to me, I was like, yes, his wife's little candle business. I was like, mm. And he was able to work with me. So we do this together ever since 2009. That's probably one of my most favorite things I get to be with my very best friend every single day he helps me with shows he he's in it man he loves it <laughs> oh, so that's one of that's my awesome <laughs> well thank you so much from all of us andrea I, you close us out you 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 started us off colette thank oh. you from I all of us. Said it all. I think you said it all you know what colette you're amazing thank you so much you um yeah you, my heart is so full and you are just so amazing. And I just, I thank you. <laughs> I can't thank, thank you enough. I just, there's just so much that you have done for so many of us and myself included that I don't know where I would be without this little dream and this company. So you're fantastic. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. I love that anybody cares about the Sensi story. That makes my heart so happy. So thank you. You guys are the oh. best. I love you all. <laughs> Have a good Thank night. You. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Thanks, Colette. Okay, bye-bye.